Unfortunately, no one can be told what the best decision is. You must experience it for yourself. You can take the blue pill of getting no treatment and struggling alone. Or you can take the red pill of waiting in absurdly long waiting lists in the NHS. Is there a... a third option? Well, uh... You could try this. Eh, worth a shot. What is, even is my catchphrase? Hello you wonderful people, you, I'm Drakthonia and I'm here to help you in your pursuit towards your best self, one game at a time. I've been an avid D&D and TTRPG player for over 10 years and recently have delved into DMing D&D myself. So smash that subscribe button and the bell icon and maybe leave us a cheeky like to keep up to date with any D&D releases. All right, today we're going to need our serious faces. Yes, that's right. Gonna get serious in here. We're gonna be talking about how D&D can help you with your mental health. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. d and is actually good for your mental health. But Drac, I hear you cry. The World Health Organization says that games are bad and gaming disorder is something that we have to worry about. Well, what they've not highlighted is all of the good things that gaming can actually bring to your life. Yes, yes, there are good things about gaming. It's not all bad, so don't worry, you don't have to stop gaming. Never fear, you can keep hold of that switch. It's not going to become illegal contraband. So while we hear a lot of uh, negative things about gaming highlighted in the media, there's actually a lot of evidence to suggest gaming is good. But this is not just my opinion. There's been evidence to suggest that it increases focus, allows us to be more present. And while this is going to sound contradictory, escapism. Escapism isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's only a bad thing if done in excess. And while the World Health Organization focuses mainly on video games in their analysis of gaming disorder, I am going to highlight how D&D can also be an extremely beneficial tool for mental health support and um, generally making all of our lives a lot better. D&D is especially useful for mental health purely because it requires more involvement. There is more imagination required for playing the game in general, let alone being a DM. And one thing that is particularly useful is the fact that it is a consistent commitment. A lot of individuals with mental health conditions uh, really struggle to maintain a schedule that is inherently in itself very beneficial to have so with D&D this allows them to commit to a particular activity that is social creative and entertaining that allows them to feel invested in having to attend that particular commitment it also provides a consistent activity is measurable with progress and challenges. This in itself can be extremely useful for those who do not feel like they are experiencing much in the way of positive uh, reinforcement in their lives. D&D can help a player feel a sense of control over their world and an important role to play. As previously said in other videos, Players are the ones telling the story, so they are the ones dictating where things go. They get to choose how they respond to things, while in real life they may not feel that they have that luxury. D&D and gaming in general can actually fit under the PERMA model. Uh, if you've never heard about the PERMA model, it's a theory of well-being, initially outlined by Seligman? Selgman? Seligman? Either way, this guy, which covers five elements of well-being. Positive emotion, engagement, relationships, meaning, and achievement. 
These elements were selected based on whether or not they fit under three important properties. If it contributes to well-being, if it makes people pursue it for its own sake, and that it can be defined and measured uh, independently of other elements. So, looking at these five elements, we can definitely see that these are very much present in any gaming experience, uh, including D&D. In fact, because of this, it is now being used as a therapeutic tool to help those suffering from phobias or to practice new behaviours because D&D allows us to take part in practice situations. It allows us to be able to develop our social skills. It allows us to develop our self-esteem and self-confidence in a safe and controlled environment. It's being used to allow people to express themselves more assertively and even helps those who have trouble with impulse control because it requires turn taking and being more aware of how you're interacting with others both in the game and outside of it. D&D allows us to develop our ability to be collaborative. It's empathy building. It allows us to activate multiple different areas of our brains due to the nature of how we are engaging with the game. For example, we not only need to think of our tactics, we also need to think of our social uh, interactions. We need to think about how our character would play the game rather than ourselves. We have to try and interpret other players' choices. We have to interpret NPCs' choices. There's a whole multitude of uh, things that we need to take into consideration while playing the game. And this in itself is extremely useful and healthy. Some of those who suffer from mental health conditions, including myself, have issues with going outside of their comfort zones, being outside of their safety bubble, so to speak. Leaving their house in itself can be extremely difficult. This allows the slow controlled buildup of getting more confident in making decisions and pushing that boundary and testing the water without actually putting your physical self into a stress situation. Anyone who's played a game can tell you that games can be stress relieving. It allows you to relax and do something outside of your adult life. Too often are we unforgiving of adults wanting to enjoy themselves, but d we don't bat an eye when uh, kids do the same. Really, we could all do with acting a bit more like children now and again and enjoying ourselves and allowing us to take delight in simple things. Too often do we allow the adult life to get to us to a point where... We develop mental health conditions through stress or anxieties that build up over time and a lack of control over our own situation. Games like D&D can help us practice assertiveness without the fear of messing up. I know I particularly have issues with expressing my anger at things. This way it allows me to practice certain situations that produce anger and actually responding in an appropriate fashion. And if I mess up, I can redo it. It's that simple. It's not something that is set in stone like our real lives feel. D&D is such a game that it is paced uh, depending on how we respond and when we respond. There is no social pressure to respond in a quick and unthought out way. We can take the time to discuss our responses, to discuss with our uh, group how we wish to respond to a certain situation. We can also take the time to try and consider what our character would do as opposed to what we would initially want to do. This allows us to put ourselves outside of our own self and into someone else's shoes, which we very often don't get the chance to do. 
and this allows us to also develop our understanding of others and how they respond to things and how they feel and all of these are really important things that we often don't get the practice of and quite often aren't taught to us so despite despite me concentrating on the fact that it's good for our mental health and those with mental health conditions this is generally good for everyone all right i hope that helped you highlight some of the ways in which DD and games in general can help your mental health i apologize for the seriousness of this one but i felt that it was an extremely useful topic to discuss and i really wanted to highlight this for everyone in future so that they felt that they could maybe dabble a bit more in DD. If you'd like to continue the conversation, do join our Discord where all of the shenanigans happen. And why not leave me a comment? Tell me how you feel that these points will help you delve into D&D with your mental health in mind. Why not tell me some of the benefits that you have felt from playing games or D&D? And with that, I'm going to sign off and say bye. Say bye, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about stuff that's totally not this part of the conversation. Fuck! <laughs>